Today's project is a one piece bird bottle. In the previous video, I showed you a prototype of a soya sauce bottle with a spout. I made them for the restaurant to test, and they became very popular. So I decided to put them in my routine lineup. As I make them in bigger volumes, I modified the method to speed up the process. This is a new version. The major change is in the number of parts. The prototype has two parts and the new version has one. Making one piece pots is my favorite series. Compared to making two parts and assembling them, this way I can dramatically reduce the time. I use 500 gram stoneware buff clay which contains 10% lava clay. I make a tall cone shape and bring it down to a dome shape. In this process, the clay density is going to be equal and it also brings the clay into the center position. I make the center hole with my right thumb and slide it out to make the hole wider. Now I use three fingers to pull the clay outwards to make the hole bigger. At this point, my left hand is supporting the wall from the outside to keep the same diameter. I need to keep the curved bottom. This wooden tool is made to shape the bottom so I can keep the same internal shape. I also compress the bottom with it to prevent the S-crack. Then I put the clay up. My left fingers need to follow the curve. Before I close the top, this is a final stretch with a wooden spatula which compresses the surface well. I start to squeeze the cylinder a third from the top. When I reach the top, I pinch the edge from both sides. The squeezing action creates gathers. So I need to pay extra attention to the top part to make a smooth surface. Before I close the top, I reshape the pot from the inside using a hook shaped wooden tool. Now I'm going to close the top. This is the last chance to take the water out. I try to close the top with a slope. In this way, I can avoid the shoulder from collapsing. The squeezed point collapses easily, and it is difficult to bring the clay up at this stage. 
It is easier to make a sloping shoulder. Then, after closing the top, I can reshape it to a round shoulder. This is the middle point, and I imagine the sphere inside. I want to make the spout a bit thinner and longer. This tool is made from bamboo chopsticks. One side is sharpened and thinly pointed. The other side is shaped flat and pointed. I use the thinly pointed side to open the spout. Then I shape the thin long spout. I trim the clay at the bottom to make the pot closer to the round shape at this stage. In this way, I can reduce the drying and trimming times. The spouts dry too quickly, so I cover them with newspaper origami hat. For the trimming, I wet the bottom of the pot to make the attachment easily on the wheel. Then I use the skimmed clay to secure the position. I trim the neck first, then follow the body. This is a bottle to pick up, so I want to keep the weight very light, but also want to make a hole in the middle part later. If I trim it too thin, the whole part will sag during the firing, so I need to compromise on the thickness. There are plenty of margins I can trim at the bottom. My aim is to make a sphere. I use a chuck to trim the bottom. Three pieces of clay can secure the bottle position. In this trimming, my attention is all about following the inside line. From the center to the side, I want to make a smooth curve.
I made a plastic template where I took the curve line from the wooden hook tool. I use this curve to match the outside curve to the inside one. The final stage is alteration. I place a card to see the balance of the spout and the body. The spout need to be higher than the body as I cut the tip off later. Then I tap the bottle gently to make a bottom mark. Now I use a wooden bat to tap the bottom carefully so as not to make a crack. When the bottom becomes wide enough, I gently press it from the center to the outside. In this way, I can make sure the pot will not rock. I can leave the spout as it is. This shape will be good for pouring. But I call this series bird bottle. So I want to make it like a peak. Thin metal kidney is good for this cut. The cutting edge is fragile, so I carefully compress the sharp edges. At this stage, if the hole in the spout is not wide enough, I can scrape the inside with the flat side of this bamboo stick easily. By this time, the clay becomes hard, so I need to be gentle when cutting the hole. 